Good morning, good morning. So today we're eating early. As you can see, we've got veggie patty, beef, cheese, grilled onions, same old, you know, salad, tomatoes, two of them, hot wings. This is my like staple meal when I come to work. Um, haven't tracked it, but I'll probably put it in my fitness pile. Um, yeah, this is it. It's early though, look at the time. It's only 10 o'clock. Normally I break my fast in like four hours. But today I was hungrier than normal, so I decided to break my fast early. Some days you're gonna have that, and then some days you're gonna be longer fasting. Like today, it's only like 16, 12 hours. Another day it might be 20 hours because I don't feel hungry. You know, some days it might be 18 hours instead of 16. It changes, it depends on how you're feeling as well. And today I woke up hungry. Maybe it's because I didn't really sleep. I only slept like three hours. So yeah, that's another thing. Sleep is important, but obviously I got a lot of things going on, my art and everything. And if I want that to grow, I'm gonna have to sacrifice sleep a bit. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but today, yeah, I just woke up hungry. So that's the reason why I am eating now. Cool. Let me eat my food, catch you lot later on. <laughs> now I am slumped, fam. I'm right done functioning like three hours of sleep. You know, I went to sleep at 4.30 in the morning. I had to wake up at like 6.45. I've slumped, you know. Right now, it's probably a pre-workout. I decided to keep me awake, but I'm, I'm tired. You know? I'm having to bat out this deadlift, squat, bench, and military press. Being tired, it's gonna be a struggle, you know. Um, I was gonna take a nap, but you know what? Let me. I just wanna get the work out of the way, you know. Every day is not gonna be energy 100, you know. You're not gonna be like, oh yeah, you know. My workouts are gonna be like killer every every session. It's not gonna happen. There's days where you're gonna be like, I don't want to be in the gym, but you know, you just gotta go and do it to get the job done, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Trying to get this job done, you know. After a couple sets, I should get hyped enough and get my body warm and everything. Hence why I'm wearing my jumper today. Get my body warm and yeah, bang out a sweat. And then I should start banging out. But I'm just gonna do a couple reps. I'm not gonna record this. I'm gonna get out of the gym quick. So I'm just gonna bang out the workout and get out of here. You know, it's not like a workout you haven't seen before. You guys have seen this already. Um, but yeah, just gonna get it out the way. All right, let's, let's get started, man. <sighs> So we ended up doing six or seven sets of squats for main sets. We did four for we did four sets of 140 times eight reps. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good good, you know, I was really just focusing on like the form. The form was the main thing today. Um, again, as you guys know, two weeks ago, I showed my shoulder. Although my max deadlift is 240, 250, but I was like, I just needed that tuck, you know? Um, but that was like when I was like in my like 100 kg weight, you know? Now I'm like around the near more, more close to 90 than I am in the hundreds, you know? And I was like 111 kg, you know, big, eating food, good food, you know? I was, still looked like I went to the gym, but. You know, my body fat percentage was way higher and the nutrition I was getting in was way higher as well. So I could lift heavier weight. That's the reason why naturally people bulk because they feel like, okay, you know, I wouldn't say, I don't like the word bulk and cut, you know, I don't like them too, but you know, in order to perform and increase your muscle, you need to consume more food, you know? So, um, you know, I've lost a little bit of strength, you know, but I still try to max out everything. Um, sometimes, not all the time, you know, bodybuilding, you know, it's about reps, volume, um, not really mainly about the weight. Um, but yeah, so I did that and now I'm moving on to squats. I've already done two sets. You can see I'm really sweating. Um, like I said, I only need to get warm, my body to warm up and everything. And now I feel alive, you know? Um, most of the times I think in the field, you can have been days where literally you don't want to come to the gym, but the moment you step in the gym and actually start working out, you feel like, you know, you've got the most energy in the world. I feel like I can go home and just bang out another 24 hours after this, you know? Um, but today I'm actually going to try and get some decent sleep. So it's almost 8 o'clock. I'm going to go home, probably live stream till about 12, 1-ish, and then call it a night and then go sleep till like 7.45 and then go to work for 8.30. So yeah, trying to do decent sleep today. Um, 
no editing, nothing. Did a quite a lot of editing yesterday. Um, I need to plan out my editing days, drawing days, editing days, drawing days, and stick to it. But yeah, let me get back to my set. Been talking for like two minutes now, but it's getting cold. Let's go. So I'm currently here in my car at work. I'm about to start in like five minutes. I'll just tell you guys what happened yesterday after off the gym, went home. What did I do? At food. What did I eat? I had a kebab box. Um and some fried chicken from our local bus, my people's. Um they made that good stuff for me. And then I went I live streamed up until like 12 midnight and then I went to Zoe's place and slept basically and now I woke up I'm here at work I'm gonna try and stay fasted until after I finish I finish at 3 o'clock so stay fasted until 3 and then I'll probably go to the gym do my cardio you know try and knock out my cardio out the way and then go home upload a couple of YouTube videos and then probably go live on Twitch. That is the plan. Um, I probably need to do a bit of cleaning around the house. You know, obviously my mom's situation, she's not feeling well. So I have to take responsibility and probably going to clean up the toilet, hoover, all that shizness up until like, let's say uh, six and then from like six onwards, I can get to work and do my things. But yeah, today I got shit from 8.30 to three so not bad seems like i'm working every day seems like every day i'm here but you know <sighs> man's gotta do what man's gotta do in it you know what i'm saying all right let me go do this i forgot my belt as well so i'm right now like i got low bats yeah for those of you that don't know what low bats is basically your trousers almost walk down to your ankles in it like so that's the situation i got now because obviously i've lost a ton of weight you know man's a stick right now stick but yeah. um yeah, let me go get to work and i'll see you guys after when i'm off to do my cardio which is again i haven't weighed myself because i stayed at zone's place uh, i might just have to start weighing myself at her place just to see but really i don't really care about the scale you know i always go by appearance mainly um but the scale is just a good guide just to but again consistency you need to use the same one all right, guys. Peace. I've got like two minutes to go in. Deuces. So, I'm in the gym. I've got Justin back today. Um, yeah, we got a little for work like half an hour early, so I finished around 2, 30-ish, 40. Um, came home, uploaded my fitness video. What else did I do? I made my pre-workout. Um, and now, I've already started. I've already done... I've done three sets of chin ups and pull ups, as well as 20 press ups. So that's 60 press ups so far. I'm about to do one more set. That's what I normally do just to start my chest and back to get my body warm, you know, loosen up my joints and everything. It is winter time, so bodies are cold, hence why I'm wearing a jumper. But it's kind of hot today. It feels like summer, man. So the jumper might be coming off real soon. I'm not going to record the workout again, I just want to get out of here. Last couple of days I haven't really been feeling the gym, but that's the key. When you're not feeling the gym, you just gotta get the work done, you know? The consistency is probably the most important part overall if you're trying to build something, you know? If you're not in, if you're inconsistent, but you're only consistent for a period of time, it's not gonna help, you know? You need to be consistent long term. So yeah. Even though I'm not feeling it, don't really wanna be in here. I'm still here getting it done. So that's probably the topic of today. I'm going to tackle that. You know? The key to consistency is just getting it done, you know? Getting it done is the most important part. Um, you know, even some days when you're just feeling ah, I'm really down. Coming in the gym, a lot of people say, oh no, it's better just to leave it and not come than to go and just give like a half eyes workout. No, it's not. <laughs> Get your ass in the gym. <laughs> it's just the gym. Those people are the ones that are full of excuses. Don't listen to them. 
get your ass in the gym, you know? And being tired, going with that, I say I'm tired, but at the end of the day, that's a state of mind, you know? You can get overcome that by psyching yourself up, giving yourself energy, letting yourself know why you're doing this thing, um, you know? So, yeah, being tired is just a state of mind. You just tell yourself I'm tired, but really, you're not really tired, you know? I don't believe in the word tired. I say it, you know, I say it a lot. I'm, like, I'm tired, I'm tired. But somehow, I still get shit done. <laughs> you know? I still go through it um, and do what I need to do, even though what I'm telling myself I'm tired. You know, you know like they say, people people have two emotions. One's the, the heavenly one, and then we've got the devil one. And my devil one's the one telling me, you're tired, tired. And everyone's like, you say you got a goal, you know, go after it. So, yeah, stay consistent, people. It's very important in anything you want to achieve in life. It's not just health and fitness. You know, it's everything you do. Those that are consistent are the ones that get forward and prosper. So, yeah, you know, obviously it takes like 21 days to build a habit. That's what they say. So once you go into a habit and then you start making it part of your daily routine, then the consistency shouldn't be that hard. It's just, it's just going to be those days when you're like, I'm tired today, and then the next day, oh, I'm still tired, and all of a sudden, you've missed a week, you missed two weeks, then it's three weeks, and it's like, oh, I ain't been to the gym for a month. You don't want that to happen. Just make sure it's part of your day, and if you're one of them people that you, like, you work nine to five, make sure it's the first thing you do before you go to work. You know, wake up an hour or two early, wake up at seven, you know? And obviously some of you are, oh, I don't want to do that, you know? Don't want to wake up at seven. You just don't want it bad enough, you know. Um, obviously, my my schedule is different. I'm, my schedule is not the same. If it was the same, it probably would be easier for me, you know. If I had the same schedule like every day, it was nine to five, nine to five, nine to five. Nah, my own sometimes like six to two. Other days it's like nine to you know five. Sometimes I have evening shifts, so it mixes up. But somehow, still get it done. You gotta stay consistent, and that's when you see the best results as well. When you stay consistent. But yeah, this has been like a four minute video. <laughs> We're talking about consistency. Um, I'm about to get to work, do one more set of this, and then actually get into my main workout. Um, yeah. Feeling good. You know? Feeling good. Let's keep going. Catch you up back at the house. Video done. 318 calories burnt. I did the treadmill incline, did a bit of reading, good stuff. Now I'm going home. Catch you up.